let's get right into a favorite stretch of mine. It's a rotator cuff stretch. It might look slightly unconventional. You may not have seen anything like this before. But if you've been dealing with rotator cuff tendonitis, bursitis, or impingement, a lot of times it's because you're lacking adduction, cross-arm adduction, or internal rotation of the shoulder. So that's what this shoulder stretch helps with. So you're going to put the palm of your hand against the wall, point your thumb down, and you're going to use your body and your legs to kind of help generate an additional layer of force to help you get a better stretch out of it. So I know you can't quite see my legs, but I'm actually using my legs to help drive, in this case, my right shoulder into the wall. And I'm trying to rotate my trunk as if I'm hugging the wall. All right, and you want to kind of perform this up to about 12 times. You can do this daily. And uh, that green arrow is just indicating exactly where I'm hoping you guys will feel this stretch. It's really, really important that you guys don't push through pain on this. So sometimes you might notice that you get to a certain part of the range of motion that feels good. But if you push through that and too hard into that, maybe that's when you experience pain. So that's what I want you guys to be aware of. You should kind of push through maybe a little discomfort, but it should be like a good hurt kind of feeling and a good stretch. If you guys get into pain in the front of the shoulder or if it's sharp, I want you guys to not do this. So go ahead and try the stretch out right now and see how it works for you guys. <laughs> 